What a massive crowd. You know what happening over in number seven? The big belly man got frightened already. What a massive crowd. Simply the best. Better than all the rest. DLD forever. I don't understand. <laughs> My dear people, this is the night. We never thought for a moment two years ago that we would be where we are today. But God is good all the time. Labor is good all the time. And that's why we are where we are today. We are here in constituency number three. Just on the cusp of another general election. Less than two years, a government that was imposed upon the people is now being asked to vacate and let labor people take their rightful places. And so tonight in number three, we are reminding you that the time has come for Congress, Congress, Gregor Mente Maynard to take his seat here in constituency number three. He came to you in 2015. He was cheated out of his place his seat in 2020 and we said to you we will come back and we're going to take back number three for the people of, the, of labor here in this constituency and so tonight we are here thousands of us are here the entire team of the labor party it is here to endorse the candidacy and to encourage the people of constituency number three to vote for Congress again. A worthy representative of the people of constituency number three and the people of St. Kitts and Nevis on a whole. A young, brilliant engineer. A family man, a man nevertheless, who every young woman is saying, Congress is my man, I want him. Every young woman today in this country said, Congress is the man for me. And he's a good man. He's a good, 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 good man. Don't let nobody fool you. He's a good, 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 good man. And we ain't gonna ask tomorrow alone. I'm gonna ask others. He's a good, 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 good man. My dear people, Congress is deserving to be with us in the parliament again. He is currently one of the deputy leaders of our great party, ready to serve not only in government, but serve in the party to build it, to ensure that it is sustainable for generations to come. Congress is a performer of class, a winner who has won all kinds of competitions around the world. He's the man for number three. And I want the man for number three to jump up again with us. For God's sake, give us 
Conwis Maynard to be part of the cabinet of this government when in three weeks time we walk into parliament in Church Street. Listen. saying to you, Aquila is no match for Conway's. Have you all seen the letters recently that were released in the social media? Aquila Byron, she has allowed someone who is not even qualified to be in the public service to be getting a salary way above that of even a permanent secretary. And she, Akila Nisbet, in charge of the Ministry of Health, has doctors, nurses, doctors are still on PEP, still being placed on PEP with meager wages, and she has given Damien Weeks, a salary higher than that of a permanent secretary. When the financial secretary said to the CPO, he is not even fit to be in the public service. Akila Byron do that to the nurses and doctors and teachers and the rest of the civil servants here in this country. No, I say, it should not be. She should be taught a lesson. She should be replaced by none other than Conwys Maynard here in constituency number three. After all, after all, this is wrong. And the only way to correct it is to pull her out of parliament, vote against her, vote for Conwys, vote for Labour in constituency number three. Number six is here. 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 Wow, wow, wow. And we are here to emphasize. We love Conway's. 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 And tomorrow they all come from number three and number six as well. My dear people, I want us to pray for one of our comrades who came here to this meeting tonight and was involved in the accident earlier. She's Kermona Edinburgh. Kermona, we call her Moggy. She is my neighbor in St. Paul's. We pray that she be safe and that she would recover from any of the injuries that she might have suffered. But we are a strong people, and Kamona is going to survive. Because she is from number six, and she's from labor. And labor strong, labor massive, labor healthy. They can't keep labor down. Nobody gonna slow us down, nobody gonna break us down. So number six, you will continue after this election. Your party will be in power again. Your representative 
will be in parliament again and in the cabinet led by Dr. Drew. And we shall continue to achieve the developments that we have started in number six. The entire constituency felt the weight of labor for 20 years. Many more achievements will take place. Houses will be provided for our people. And you have told me in the canvassing, we ain't want no one-story house anymore. We want to have concrete roofs so that another family of the member can build and stay on top. We want to change the way we provide, high, we provide housing for our people here in constituency number six. We will continue to transform and transition the economy down there. No longer will we say we have only Galaxy and the three hotels at Kittishan Hill. We will have more. We shall have more because you have been at the forefront of the transitioning of the economy from agriculture to tourism and hospitality and you will never ever be left out. Roads and infrastructure will continue to be built. Health centers, community centers, and sporting facilities will be upgraded and provided where we no longer, where we don't have any at the moment. We want to make sure that the investment in the human capital in number six will continue. Every single household in the new dispensation will not only have just one graduate from university and college, but there will be several. We will continue to see your faces in every single department and office of government. Nowhere in this country is too far. Nowhere in this country is too good for you, the people of number six, to be engaged in. And that is why I say, Marco Polo is wasting his time. No wonder John B. I say, where he come from? Is he Marco Polo from China? This is a man who don't even talk to people when he pass them in the streets in their bed. Away, Marco Polo, I go John B. I say. But let me say to you, I want you to know that the last time the very last time someone tried to defame me is $350,000 the court charged them. Tell Marco, me, me not make no joke with him at all. And so we're going to put him in a place. Put him in a place. The last time the court awarded me from people who tried to defame me is $350,000 I was given. And so I say, you need to move forward. All I am saying tonight is that Marco has to know his place. My lawyers, he has already heard from them. And if he does not respond appropriately, we gonna go further. We gonna go down to the big house, down the Aquatic Square. why we are saying Timo picking up all kind of little boys and girls and putting them say into politics and then he stand behind and I laugh at them foolish set of people you understand I want to make it clear that we ain't making no joke with Timo Harris at all oh you remember how we suffered during the pandemic lock us down for days, man and man can't find nothing to eat. And when people talk to him, he with his forwardness say, oh, you must go and fast and pray when he have five meals a day for his big belly cell. I know they say I mustn't cuss so many I'll cuss. Big belly ain't cussing. If a man got a big belly, got a big belly. I am not. A 
much more time I have. You remember? Forced vaccination. People lose their jobs. Can't get compensation. Taxi drivers for 20 months can't get a walk. Three months only. He gave them a little subsistence for. Labor will pay you for the rest 17 months that he did not pay you. That is what we will do. Keeping our people in the diaspora, our citizens overseas, want to come home, have to go and write to some machine and ask for permission to come home with their forwardness. Eh? That is how he treated us. And you're going to compensate him by voting for him again? By voting for Akila here in number three? Man, get rid of them! Get rid of them! Get rid of them! <laughs> Writing is on the wall. Timo and PLP must fall. The writing is on the wall. Right the now, he's up here. The DJ man ain't easy, you know. I just say wall, and you hear what you bring on. <laughs> the writing is on the wall. Timo must fall. Right there in Tabernacle. He up there right now at the stage. He afraid to call the election. They say he's having second thoughts. I just got a phone before I came here. He's having second thoughts about ringing the bell. Well, tell him. Douglas say. Here in Buckley's, in Labour Massive, if he ain't ring the bell tonight, we gonna ring the bell right here in Buckley's tonight. The bell of freedom will be rung right here in this constituency and in this. Ring the bell, 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 bell. Ring the bell, bell, bell. <laughs> ring the bell, 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 bell. Ring the bell, bell, bell. And in ringing the bell. It means the countdown. The countdown would have started for Freedom Day. And every single day, we must be able to say with one accord, 18 more days, Timo. 17 more days. 16 more days. 15 more days until we get down to zero day, election day, and we're going to drag them out of office. When we're going to vote them out. When we're going to vote them out. When we're going to vote them out. And so the new economy will be restarted. The post-COVID-19 reset in the economy of St. Kitts and Nevis would have been reset. Just last night down there in St. Paul's, we all had a video shoot. And I was speaking to the issue. The post-COVID-19 reset in the economy. When the manifesto app comes out, I want each of you to look at it closely. Listen to the video closely because therein will lie how we will resuscitate the economy of St. Kitts and Nevis. How we will return dignity and pride to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. We, our human resource investments will continue. Small business development will thrive again. There will be job creation in a way that we've never seen before, my dear people. There would be healthier livelihoods. Agriculture, 
both food crop and livestock will thrive again and will soar to be the productive sector here in St. Kitts and Nevis. There will be lower taxation. The fact will be reduced from 17% to 13%. 5,000 jobs will be created. The, the Bastia High School will be rebuilt. We will have a new hospital, a new Joseph and France General Hospital. A highway will be created. 5,000 jobs will be created by your new Labour government. I can't wait for the 2,000 houses to be distributed to our men and women here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Labor is good. Labor is ready. Dr. Drew is ready to take us to the next level. Let us do it together. Let us do it. Let us do it. Let us do it. Let us do it, my dear people. I can feel it. I can feel it. I remember what it was like in 1993. I remember the final turn in 1995. Let us do it together. God bless you. Thank you. I love you.